Oh, heavens no. for hours. Oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since 10 o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a bug on a drug. Well, come on then. Finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Aha! The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. I'm afraid I lack my father's common touch. So could you just pretend that I know how to motivate you? It can't be this hard to finish up a day's work, can it? What are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. We'll look out for each other. That's what we'll do. Yes. One could read that without a ripple in one's teacup. <laughs> well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the piñata. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card.
Fond memories. Still wonders what life's like outside the tube. Of course, he'd have to break the tube to get out. Well, I'll break it for everybody. That little shit. He wants my view. Well, oh, let's see what Miss Bing thinks of your work now, Clive. <laughs> wrong with that one. I did that right. to you, Prudence. Oh, you Prue. But where did she go?
to be a bit behind in our work now that you mention it. the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the sweets come out. Come on, hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Smash it! Go on, smash it, silly face off! You are off your joy. Take one of mine. Oh my lord. He's a downer. Call security. We've got a downer. Take your joy. Take your joy. Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. Take your joy. Take your joy. Smell gas? Flaming Nora. Forget him, there's no time. Those bastards chased me. They were bridges, weren't they? And tunnels. I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. I don't even think I'm still in the village. Those bobbies seem to have locked me in. 
I suppose they were worried about the gas. Terribly thoughtful of them. There we go. Three years of the salamander and me getting into constant trouble finally pay off. really did run off. And she ran this way. I wonder if I'll see her again. Oh, 
I'll need some odds and bobs and bits of metal to make a lockpick. What happened to him? Or rather, who? going to hurt us? No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I... I promise. But... But, but they hurt the city. I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other. That's the first fight I've won since primary school. Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school.
have any other hatches to go to just yet. District, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Ah, the train station. If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? Well, I suppose back in those days we could remember where things were. I think this might be the one Sally and me tried to blow up. I always wonder what happened to the letters. There was an awful lot of smoke. Percy, I'd just go promenading about, wondering why everyone was staring. He never did quite grasp what's so important about wearing clothes. Sort of secret message. coming for you, Percy. I haven't got it all figured out, but I will find you. I wonder if the plague and the blight are the same thing. It's not very scientific, I suppose.
Well, I hope this doesn't give me food poisoning. A rose of Gilead. Percy told me about these. They're good for wounds and things. Garden district, don't they? Well, I guess I can eat these till I run across a pub. <laughs> well, I hope Mrs. Hudson feeds Sparky and doesn't eat him. Garden District was a wilderness of lawless lunatics. Apparently it's just got its own rules. I'd better figure out what the other ones are. rotten potato. I'm not sure I want to eat it. I suppose I could. Might throw up. Terribly romantic, isn't it? They had each other until the end. Sorry to bother.
That's a bit risky. Look what happened to Goldilocks. It occurs to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's try not to get killed, shall we? Uh... Hello? Anyone out there? Are you a tourist? You dress like one. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here, over here. Do you want to get thrashed? Come in. Come in. God, you're new here, aren't you? From the parade? Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return, you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous. Your funeral. Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death. You better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy, and it like flips a switch, and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! I think my suit is decent anymore. I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a waste.
Locked. Aha, uh -huh, but I remember how to make a lock pick. I lied for you today at 4.15. Shh. That's not good, Percy. You're rubbish at lying. I was a good liar today. Shh. Who did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle. Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red. And, and her voice was like Mom when she's angry. And I thought that you would ask me why she's angry. Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry. But I decided that she was angry because you were up in a tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15pm. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble, because I'm slow. You didn't have to do that. She told me not to do it again, so I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. I love you. Arthur. I love you too. A safe. I suppose if there's something valuable in this house, it ought to be in here. supposed to do with all at least we're alive right sometimes you just have to eat rotten things that's life in it i suppose he's just another rotten downer like us Welcome to the bloody garden district. Didn't we go to school together? Time. 
Miss Bing's class. If you get a cut out here, you better bandage it up. You can get an infection just from a scratch. Been a while, hasn't it? Clothes make the man, don't they? Nobody likes a naked. How are you person. holding up? Well, well. There's more of us every day. At least we have our memories, right? I try not to talk about the. You know. But sometimes I can't this too know. shall pass, I suppose. Never thought it would come to this, did we? You're not the bloody help, are you? Hello. You'd be amazed what people throw into the bins. Been sleeping all right? Watch out for the ones with plague. <laughs> well, it doesn't kill you. <laughs> a water pump. Nice. There's a few more in the garden district, aren't there? This ought to be pretty clean, unlike in the village where they spike it with joy. What's on those beds? Oh, God. I'm not the only one remembering the children, am I? Makes sense. They're all off their joy out here. Toy tea set. Funny. Percy never played with toys. He didn't like anything that wasn't really the thing it was supposed to be.
It works. I feel loads better. Percy was never wrong about a thing like that. Just uh, watching the day go by. Uh, just resting my feet. Being rough on my mum. You don't sign up to have a kid like Percy. Jesus. Oh my God. 